Putin News Now. Putin claims that he has shipped the first batch of tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus. Russian President Vladimir Putin was quoted as saying that Russia has stationed its first batch of tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus, despite the United States' assertion that there is no evidence that the Kremlin plans to use nuclear weapons in an attack on Ukraine. These comments were made by Putin during his address to the International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg. He assured the audience that tactical nuclear weapons would only be deployed in the event of an attack on Russian territory or the state, as reported by the BBC. There is no evidence, according to the United States government, that the Kremlin is planning to use nuclear weapons in an attack on Ukraine. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken responded to Putin's remarks by saying, we don't see any indications that Russia is preparing to use a nuclear weapon. British media reported that Putin predicted the handoff of tactical nuclear warheads would be finalized by the end of the summer. It was a containment measure, according to the Russian president, and he warned anyone thinking of inflicting a strategic defeat on us that you will be sorely disappointed. To the question of whether or not to use such weapons, posed by the forum moderator, he responded, why should we threaten the whole world? I have already stated that if there is a threat to the integrity of the Russian state, then drastic measures may be taken. Small nuclear warheads and delivery systems designed for use on the battlefield or in a targeted attack are what make up tactical nuclear weapons. To prevent widespread radioactive fallout, they are built to destroy enemy targets in a limited area. One kiloton is the minimum yield for a tactical nuclear weapon, equivalent to 1,000 tons of TNT. Huge ones can reach 100 kilotons in size. The 15 kiloton atomic bomb that the United States dropped on Hiroshima in 1945 serves as a comparison. Moscow. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is Jewish, but Russian President Vladimir Putin called him a disgrace to the Jewish community. Putin said many of his Jewish acquaintances agreed with him that Zelensky does not stand for Jewish values and principles. Vladimir Putin has stated, I have many Jewish friends. Zelensky is not a Jew and he is a disgrace to the Jewish people, he was quoted as saying by CNN. Soon, Ukraine will no longer use any of its own machinery at all. The whole thing has vanished. Everything they use, including weapons, is imported from the outside. You can't keep fighting like that, he cautioned. According to CNN, during the plenary session of the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, Russian President Vladimir Putin voiced concern over the potential escalation of the Ukraine conflict involving NATO. A human face on Trump, that's what Silvio Berlusconi was. That means the two men were much more different from one another than the average American would have guessed. Despite his bluster, spray tans, and showmanship, the ex-Italian Prime Minister was loyal to Europe, the Atlantic Alliance, and the Italian Constitution, at least the parts of the Constitution that didn't interfere with his criminal defense tactics. Despite his provocative nature, Berlusconi was far more disciplined and worldly than Trump and nowhere near as destructive, vengeful, or hateful. To be honest, he could be quite entertaining at times. 